Hey there and welcome to Real Investment News. I'm Mike O'Neill with your afternoon closing report. The Dow dropped just about 12 points today, as did the S&P and the NASDAQ. They're down slightly, not really a big problem. This is really just people coming in, taking some of the profits after those past two weeks of really impressive climbs. But there are some stories we want to talk about. Oh, first of all, uh, gold futures, as you can see, they're up about $12 an ounce. There's some concern about what might be happening with North Korea. So this is a place where a lot of people are looking to put their money. But the really big story is what's happening with General Electric. Take a look at this. 23.43, that's where they closed today. This is actually almost lower, or actually almost right at the point where they were in August of 2015. The reason, there's been some big changes in management up in the uh, top office, and an analyst with JP Morgan says that there is a chance that the industrial giant might have to cut its dividends. So we're really keeping an eye on that. Also, last week, we told you how Amazon was going to start getting into the prescription drug market. That had a big effect on CVS and Walgreens. On Friday, they both lost about 5%. The drop continued. CVS dropped about 3.4% and Walgreens is down 3.18%. So that's two more that we're really going to have to watch as Amazon just continues to barrel through. And one more thing that we do want to take a look at, it is oil. Earlier today, it actually topped over the $50 a barrel mark. That was really good, but it did sink back down. Now it's sitting at $49.86. The reason is because OPEC has said that in November, they're going to get together and talk about how to stabilize the market. And production in the Gulf is getting back up to speed now that Hurricane Nate has already passed on. So thank you very much for watching Real Investment News. I'm Mike O'Neill. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and we will see you tomorrow morning.